Hi there, I'm Mary with Mary's Stamping Cafe. Thanks so much for stopping in at my Stamping Saturday recorded and uploaded video. I am here as your creative coach today um, because I have been um, putting together some coordinating products where you can then earn free celebration products in January and February with Stampin' Up! So today I'm going to feature a fabulous slimline card using the lighter than air suite of products it is a beautiful stamping bundle and paper and embellishments here is the hot air balloon stamp set it is wonderful all the different ways that you can put together these balloons we've got just a note to lift you up hang in there wish big and up up and away hooray it's your birthday and then you have all these fabulous dies which mine are kind of a mess because i've been using it and creating along with that we have the really pretty lighter than air six by six paper pack and this has got just fabulous balloons and designs clouds and dots and stripes and such cheery springtime colors i just love all these pastels just beautiful and we have some great embellishments as well now when you take a look at this if you really want to earn a free celebration level one you could go ahead and purchase the suite for seventy four dollars and fifty cents but let's say oh you're trying to uh, hold back a little bit maybe you want to get just the hot air balloon bundle and throw in the baker swine or the um, adhesive back dots and you have now qualified for a free level one celebration now what I would suggest with that is I would suggest the sunny days 12 by 12 designer series paper this is a 12 by 12 pack and Stampin' Up! says that it coordinates with the bright skies bundle now in the January to April there's a bundle called bright skies now it is fantastic it's a beautiful bundle it has all sorts of cloud dyes and other things for you but then I was thinking well that would also go really well with the lighter than air suite of products too so you could actually get yourself a level two celebration because if you purchase this bundle and that bundle you would qualify for a level two now I have a great card today but I also want you to not miss out on all of those wonderful celebration items so make sure you check out the link below and shop with me if you don't have a demonstrator during the month of January I'm giving double cafe coins double cafe coins mean that you will get two cafe coins for every $25 that you purchase um, and once you earn 20 coins you get $40 worth of any free products with me so I love the samples that Stampin' Up! has in their catalogs it really helps me get some ideas for what I'm going to be working on or maybe doing and I was kind of inspired by this card right here that slimline card because then you have those balloons just floating away in the clouds I'd love that idea and so I am actually going to create a slimline card today utilizing Stampin' Up's um, slimline envelopes. We don't carry these anymore, but they are perfect for a slimline card. So all you have to do when you make a slimline card is to base it off of the envelope that you're going to be using. This envelope measures nine by just about four so nine by four that means I want my folded card to be about a half inch smaller so I would go eight and a half and then if it's four we're gonna double that because we're folding it in half so that would be eight but then I'm gonna take a half inch off so it's seven and a half so let me grab my trimmer and we'll go ahead and we'll cut that now we already have the eight and a half this way that's the length that I want it to be so I'm gonna to come to this end here and we said that that was gonna be seven and a half so I'm gonna to come to my seven and a half the long way because my width the length is what I need my card to be so then 
I take a look at my card. I'm going to come over to make sure I understand. I have seven and a half. That's the part that I'm going to then be scoring for the fold of my card. So half of seven and a half. Hmm. Three and three is six. Three and a half and three and a half would be seven. So three and three quarters will make our seven and a half. And there we are. So now I have my eight and a half by three and three quarters. And that's exactly what I have wanted. When I bring this over, I'm going to take a look to see how close I am at my edging because I am going to put layers on here. So I might want to trim off just a hair and that slides in there just beautifully. So I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that. It seems like maybe it's just a little tight. So I can always come in with my trimmer and just take a little tiny sliver off that end for myself. All right, so let's talk about that fabulous, let me move that envelope. I really like these slimline envelopes. They came in a package of this beautiful soft succulent or mint macaron, um, white or a gray, and they have a lining which is really nice inside. It's too bad that we don't have those anymore, but again, you can use any form of, um, even a letter envelope that you can get right at the um, stores there. So I want the one that has the clouds. Now because this is a six by six, you'll see that it doesn't go all the way down on the card. Now I could go ahead, trim it, and then just layer it that way, but I'm gonna give my card a different bottom, a different base, kind of making it seem like there's the sky and then there's the ground. So I have this piece right here, which is really great. It's a pool party and this is um, Blushing Bride. It has little daisies almost, it looks like, little flowers. And I think that would just go together really well. So for my trimming of this, I'm going to do six by three and a quarter. Now it's already six this way, so I'm going to go to three and a quarter and cut that off. Now that's already six, but I'm gonna come here as well and I'm gonna do three and a quarter because I want it to line up with my paper at the top. My and then this one here, I'm just gonna come and make it like two and a quarter. Now I'm gonna make it two and a half because that's six, seven, eight, and eight. Yeah, I'll go to two and three quarters. <laughs> it's gonna overlap and that's okay. I'm going to have something that goes around it there. All right, now that piece of white that's left from my cutting, I'm gonna keep that because I'll utilize it for my balloons that I'm going to be doing. All right. So I'm going to bring this back over my base of my card and then that's going to sit just like so and then this is going to come in as well line up with it and have that nice white background around so I'm going to join these two together And what I want to do is lay this down exactly about where I think I'm going to have it because we have nice we have a nice border around. And then I'll go ahead and bring this on top. And that looks really good. I'm going to line up my flowers to make sure I'm straight. Because there's nothing worse than putting down your designer papers, right, and aren't straight. And so that looks terrific. It's lined up how it needs to be. So then I'll go ahead and bring my adhesive in and I'll be ready to glue that down. But before I do that, I'm gonna bring in 
<clears throat> some of that pool party ribbon that I talked about. It's a sheer ribbon. And it's going to come around. right around here and of course I didn't get any adhesive right there always happens that way doesn't it so then that's going to come right around we want to make sure we're putting this down before and I'm not going to put it down super tight because I am going to put a bow but I don't want to add a lot of bulkiness to my card let's do some right down the middle here okay so now we're ready to put this down and here's where it gets important keeping things lined up there we are and it doesn't that look sunny and cheery? I think that's so great. And I'm going to go ahead, put my pool party piece up underneath. It's kind of how we have that faux wrap around. It just really is great to not have it twisting around the back. And then you're trying to hold things. So I'm going to turn this around to do my bow. And there is a reason for that. And I hope I made have the rest of this pool party and I'm able to do a bow. The silky ribbon sometimes is hard to grab through the hole. Not that time. We'll try one more time. Make that knot a little tighter. Yes, this organza is very slick and slippery. If you have any ideas how I can do it easier, you let me know. I usually can do it really well, but I guess it's that. There we go. Let's turn it around because I don't have much. Ooh, don't have much tail at all on that. <laughs> That's okay. You just keep playing with it and it'll get there. I don't want it to be big and bulky anyway. And then you get your bows. Let me tug them one more time. And I think that to me looks like a fabulous, fabulous bow. I love that. It's so cheery and springtime. I love it. Okay, now that was nothing. That was nothing. We need to have some fun now. So I have just some white, basic white here that I'm just going to put under to give my my um, glass mat a little sponging. I have my, oh, maybe grab my silicone mat here. It's here somewhere, but I'll just use my little white. That's just fine. All right, let me grab my tools here. Here are the fabulous little rainbow adhesive backed dots we're going to be using. I have my pool party ink. And then let's go ahead and get a block and get our hot air balloon that we need. I'm going to use that hot air balloon right there. It's the largest one. Now I'm just going to tap very lightly on my pool party ink pad. It is really juicy. And press down, hold it. And there we are. You can see how juicy and dark that is. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get a scrap of white and I could just here, I could just use this right here and I have a 
have a cloud punch that I'm going to use. Now in the Bright Skies bundle, there are clouds. So if you don't have this cloud punch, that's okay. I am gonna use this cloud punch one more time with some flirty flamingo. Oh, I have two pieces here. I don't need two. I'm gonna punch another one out because I'm going to use it as a bit of a layer for my card today. It's gonna kind of shadow behind it like that on my card. So let me grab my saying. I'm gonna do the up, up and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. I think that's wonderful. Now I find with my sentiments with photopolymer, I don't necessarily need to have anything underneath that it stamps out just fine. Those fine lines do fine well. It's just when you have a lot of solid image that it can give you some trouble. All right. Now we're gonna do some die cutting. And what I'd like to do is to get my flirty flamingo ready for some die cutting as well. First off, I know I'm gonna need to trim a little bit when you're using your mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is a perfect thing to purchase during celebration if you do not have the mini. I love my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I can have it right here at my crafting spot. It really does a great job. I just, <coughs> sorry, I need this again. <laughs> I just need a sliver of this. And it should be plenty, actually, for what I'm doing. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to bring out my dies. The mini can die cut all of these that you all these parts you see here, all the dies here. It also. Do I need anything else? I think that's it. It also can die cut out. I would say a good 80% of Stampin' Up dies. It really does do a good job. It is much lighter than the standard um, Stampin' Up Cut and Emboss machine. Now, I need one more thing here. I need some of my adhesive sheets. Stampin' Up has adhesive sheets that are great for your fine detailed lines. Look at how all that's gonna die cut out and it's gonna be so tiny to try to put glue in any of that. So I would suggest using your adhesive sheet. Now the one thing that you wanna do when you're using your adhesive sheets is it's a good idea to cut things the same length that you're using so that you don't have any ex ex excess adhesive getting in the way. So I should have really probably cut my flirty flamingo just a little bit bigger, but we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take off just a bit so I don't get any of that glue residue. And let's see if we're okay now. Pretty good. I am gonna take just another little itching off. Just a little stitch off. There we go. So you get a lot of adhesive sheets with Stampin' Up's package. It's a really great purchase. All right. So I'm gonna see if I have any of my tab here. There is a little overhang sometimes, but if not, I'll just come and use my fingernail. Or I will grab my tool. There we are, there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull. And there's this, there's this little part right here 
too. I'm going to pull that as well. And then I'm just going to lay it here. I'm going to bring my flirty flamingo to it. Put it on and just lay it down. Now I have some bubbles and I'm not going to worry about those bubbles. They're not going to hurt anything, but I am going to trim this off right here. See how the cloud is right there? I don't want to get any gunk on my machine. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my mini cut and emboss machine. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my flirty flamingo pieces. Now I am going to be doing white for that, so I'll set it there, but I need all three of these pieces. I am the least of my plates that are just a mess. <laughs> So then I'll go ahead and notice my adhesive sheet is on the bottom and my cardstock is up. I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to come lay my heart down. And this little guy can sit right there. So then when I put my top plate on, I'm going to have my top plate extend forward a little bit over. That helps. That helps the roller be able to grab and I'm going to come back through now because I have that adhesive sheet on I want to make sure it die cuts out well and here we are it's going to bring the whole thing out and that's not to worry about at all I'm going to do another one of this little um, bottom of the hot air balloon where people would be sitting. I need two of those, so I'm going to roll that one through again. I'll just pop it right, whoops, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> that's not the die, that's my die cut piece. I'm going to put it right there, put my top plate forward. And roll right through. Okay, so now that I've got that part done, I'm going to go ahead and get the die for the for the large balloon. That's this one right here, the largest balloon. And then let's go ahead and pop that in. And die cut it out. I like to see the balloon. I like to see the balloon upright. <laughs> and these die cut out really easy. You just line them right up just like so. You get your top plate. Have it extend over just a little bit run it right through and all my die cutting is done put that aside clump clump <laughs> Get all of these out of the way. Now I have adhesive on here. I could use it for something else. So I might just tear off that excess. I'm gonna set this aside because I do not waste my adhesive sheet at all. You always have something that you're wanting to put an adhesive sheet on and you don't always need all of the big sheets. It comes in a package like this. You get 12 sheets. And I believe this is a 12 by 6 package as well. Yep, it's 12 by 6. Very, very handy for sure. Okay, so I have one there. And my balloon here.
Now you don't have to worry about all the part, part, parts and pieces. So like I'm bringing this out here, you don't have to worry about popping out all of these things. They're gonna come out pretty easy, but also when you take the adhesive sheet off and you pull the paper, it's gonna take out a bunch of those just on its own. So don't worry about all of that. I'll just get this excess out of my die. All right. Now I do know that I did not die cut out one thing, and that's the heart, the solid heart, so I'll want to do that. Ooh, what I like about this right here, look how fun that piece is. That is something that you could put on the balloon if you wanted to. Look how cute that is. I'm gonna keep that piece, because that could be something for a future card. Those are great pieces. I like how those just came out of there like that. All right, so I'm gonna just set my dies here as well. Don't wanna lose them. There's that beautiful heart. Look how well that did. And then I just have all those fun little things just like that. I'll get those out of the way. And I'll set that there. The other thing is I just need to die cut out a solid white heart. I missed doing that one because it's just a basic heart. So you don't think about it. You're thinking about all the other parts and pieces, but that's okay. This will be lickety split. I think the hot air balloons is really, really fun. One of the things I really like about it is the, just the bright, sunny, cheery colors that are included in the designer series paper. I mean, you need to have the designer series paper, so you may as well just go ahead and get the suite. Then get yourself a coordinating cardstock. And you might even get yourself right there to a level two free celebration. All right, now we are ready. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's bring our card, have it set right there. I'm going to go ahead and put together my hot air balloon. So when you want to get your adhesive sheet out, you just kind of play a little bit with it. And there you see it's coming right up. And now everything already has adhesive. And remember I told you that it's gonna take out all of those little dots and those little parts and pieces that you don't need to worry about that? Well, it just did it. So now this is gonna come, and what I'm gonna do is line it up along one edge and along the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and put it down. And how sweet is that and it already is glued down not a problem woohoo all right then we're going to do the same thing with our heart balloon yes this is going to be a balloon so fun just kind of play here and if that's not working for you real quick then it just come in and bring your tool and there it is just like that that heart has adhesive all on it. Now this is going to have just a little border. In fact, you can see how the heart's been indented a little bit there. You can see that? That's where you know you're going to be putting your heart. It's gonna have a little bit of a border of white around it. There we are, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to come in. I wanna go ahead and glue down the sentiment I have about how much I want it to be shadowed. I like that, just like that. And I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of it. Not adhesive, I'm sorry, dimensionals. And I'm gonna do three dimensionals just like that. 
and I'm going to place this first because this will help me know about where that's going to go. There we are. Hip hip up and away, hooray, it's your birthday. Super cute. So then I'm going to have my two balloons floating up here. Floating just like so. I love it. Now, this one is going to glue down. No dimension on it. And I want to place it right about there. And then this one is going to raise up with dimensionals. So I'll do two like that and one more right here. That one's going to come down just like so. Now I have these, the little balloon um, buggies, I'll call them. Hmm, this is wanting to give me a little bit of trouble here. Well, if worse comes to worse, these guys really didn't need the adhesive sheet. There's a lot to work with. <laughs> but since I was doing the adhesive sheet, I may as well. I'm going to tuck this one up right underneath this balloon. I didn't glue it all the way down at the bottom, so I could tuck this under. Come on. I'll bend it up a little bit for myself. And then that's just going to come right down. Just, oh, I don't want it tilted like that. I can actually get it a little bit so it's not tilted. There, that's better. Don't want it running into the other balloon. These colors are just so fun and cheery. And I love the designer series paper with the clouds. You can even use the designer series paper and die cut out your balloons so they have patterns. That would be a lot of fun. I'll have to try some of those like that. Now that this is up with dimensionals, this one's going to be easy to put up under. So how cute is that so far? That is just adorable. Look at how sweet that is. We have up and away, hooray, it's your birthday, and the balloons are all floating around. Let's bring in our fun embellishments. These are so fun and colorful. We have some Azure Afternoon, Lemon Lolly, Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo, Pool Party, uh, Fresh Frasia. I'm gonna go a little different this time. I'm going to I'm going to keep pulling in. Now I'm going to go in with our pool party here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one down here. And then I'm going to get one nice big one to ground my sentiment. And we're going to go right there. Oh, that is so so cute. Look at that. Ah. Oh, we're not done. We have to do something for the inside of the card. Let me just push away these dimensional wrappers. So now for the inside of the card, if we bring this here, we've got the fantastic Wish Big. So I'm going to grab that. We're going to Wish Big. I love the way it's written too. It's fun. 
bring in the pool party. This one is a little thicker of a design. So I am going to put that there and I'm going to put Wish Big right here. Fun. And I'm going to bring in that designer series paper. And remember this pattern I have right there. I think I'm going to grab. Ooh, that's fun too, but I haven't introduced that at all. I'm going to grab another one of the balloons. No. I'm going to just stamp it. I'm going to grab this fun tall balloon. And I'll just put it on this block that I have. I'm going to grab the pool party. Going to ink that up. Stamp it down just like that. So I'm going to do that. Then we're going to get the stamp for the bucket. We're just going to get the little one. We'll go ahead and we'll ink that up and stamp it as well. Super cute. Now I wonder if I turn my stamp around to the back side, make sure it's cleaned off so it'll stick to the back. If I ink this up and stamp it, and then I come in and stamp it over top of what I've already done. Aha! Uh -huh. I get a fun little shadow around that balloon so it looks like it's got multiple colors. Fun! I like that. All right. So there is my beautiful slim line hot air balloon birthday card using that beautiful suite of products in the January to April mini. I love the samples that they have. They're just so fun. Putting several of the hearts together to make the balloon 3D. So much fun. If you haven't seen the January to April products, just go to stampinup.com and click on what's new. And you can see all sorts of beautiful, wonderful products as well as celebration. And again, if you want to get this bundle or the suite, you can qualify for a free level one. I would suggest the Sunny Days DSP. Or go ahead and also order the Bright Skies bundle and then you can earn level two. And the level two celebrations, there are just a few to pick from. 
There's a softly sophisticated bundle that comes with a pretty embossing folder. There's the detailed dogwood that you may have seen me using already. And then there is the oh, Jungle Pals as before that. The Jungle Pal dies is a minimum $100 order to get the dies. Level one for the Jungle Pals. So again, check out my links below if you want to shop with me. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to have you as a customer. I am offering double cafe coins. And you can quickly earn that free merchandise. Let me know what you think of my card today. I'd appreciate that. And share if you would. If you're not a subscriber, why not? Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my content. Join me at Facebook Lives on Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock at Mary Stampin' Spot. I will have the links below. Use that host code when you shop with me this month so you can get those double cafe coins. Until next time, happy stampin'.